So the first I'm just going to put my hair in a ponytail to get my hair out of the way and then I'm going to take it, I'm going to take this behind here and I'm going to tie it a little bit to the side, making sure to tie it really tight. And then I'm going to take this over and tuck it in. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to tuck it in. And then I'm just going to then take my hair out. Just gonna fluff my fluff my hair up a bit, and then there I have a nice little headband, and my hair can be out. And of course, you can tuck this in even further if you don't like for it to be like really big. But I like for it to be big like this, so this works for me. Okay, the next style with this is still a headband but you're going to go the other way so again tying tight and then moving my hair out of the way, just going to take it and tuck it, take this part, push it back some and my hair kind of cover it a bit and then here is another type of headband going in the opposite direction and yeah so when you have smaller ones like this you can kind of do the wrap a little bit but not as much as if you had a longer piece of fabric um, it's a little difficult to do it with these, um, but it can be done. So I'm just going to show you if you have a smaller piece of fabric, Alright, and then this is another style for this particular one. And all you're doing is just tucking it into the sides. And there you have it, another style with this particular head wrap. When it's smaller, of course, your hair would be different however you wanted to put your hair, but this would be another way of doing it as well. So there are different ways to do it, but of course, with a shorter one, you do have to get creative when you have a short one. The next head wrap is a lot longer, and again, it still is that thick fabric -y material but you can do a lot more with this because you have a lot more length to work with all right so style with this one 
put that behind like that. Tie the back, not really tie it, but crisscross it. And then we're just gonna wrap it around my ponytail and then secure it. And then we're going to do the same thing with this side. Just going to wrap it around and secure it. This very simple style when you are not wanting to do your hair, all right? And then the next style with this particular head wrap. Okay, we're gonna go right back to that same thing and we're gonna crisscross it over. And then we're going to twist it and we're going to take it over our head and secure it. We're gonna do the same with this side and you can crisscross it however you want to crisscross it if you want to crisscross uh, you don't even have to twist it you can just take it and put it over on each side and then of course you secure it making sure that there's no pieces sticking out and there it is very simple Another style, another head wrap style. The next one is better if you have a high ponytail, if you have a long hair or some other um, way to give you a little bump. But I have a lot of hair, so just going to get it into sort of like a high bun. You're making a bow and then the extra pieces you're just going to tuck them under and fluff out the bow part and then going to take this give me a little bit more so that I can tuck it of course if you want to leave that hanging out you can it's up to you and then you can position it however you want and there you have it you can make it the way you want to make it and yeah another way to do the head wrap now the last one is the one that pretty much a lot of people like to do um, the high type of head wrap style but if you do not have the right head wrap you're not going to be able to uh, replicate it. You're not going to be able to do it. So this one is a little difficult to do that, um, but I have found a way to do it. It took me a very long time to figure it out because even though it's long, it's still not long enough to do uh, the one where it's kind of high bun. It looks like a head wrap, high bun type of thing. Um, so anyway, you definitely do need your hair to be in a high bun or something that's going to give it a little weight. And so then I'm just going to take it 
and I'm going to tuck that top part in so it can close. Then I'm going to straighten all this out to make sure that it's laying properly. And I still have a piece that I can kind of tuck in at the end. All right, so this is the piece that I have here and it's too short to tuck in and there's nowhere to tuck in, but I'm just gonna take this leftover one and I'm going to use that as a way of keeping that extra piece in place. And then I'm just going to wrap this one around and then find a place to tuck it. And wherever I see places that need to be tucked in, wherever I can see places that need to be tucked in, I will tuck it in. All right, and there you have it. Now there's a little bit more extra here and that's because um, it's still not long enough to like wrap around and I probably still need to have a bigger bun area but anyway uh, it still gives me the head wrap effect that I'm looking for but there's different ways that you can even wrap this around your head if you don't like all of this extra stuff there's different ways you just have to play with it until you get to what you want it to be or how you want it to be so so this is the head wrap for this all right, you all, I hope that you um, were able to learn some new head wrap styles that you can recreate at home. And um, I'm going to link in the description box some great places that you can find head wraps and so that you can go ahead and add that to your fashion collection. I am Michelle Mizell. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.